video we're going to learn how to draw tables in Adobe Illustrator. It'd be nice if they had a specific function for drawing tables, but they don't, so you pretty much have to draw them from scratch. For, so for starters, we're going to type the heading. We're going to click on the Type tool over here, then we're going to uh, click on the screen and drag so that it's an area type function, and then you'll see some random text pops up. and. We're going to type in, um, let's say, position, team name, let's say in for the number of members of the team, and points. Okay. Now, we want to align this text properly. First, we'll reduce the, the, the size of the text box. Then we're going to uh, put tabs on here so that we can align the text uh, within the table. So we're going to go up to Window, then go down to Type, then click Tabs. And you'll see a ruler pops up that's aligned with the text box that you drew. And you can create all uh, a series of, of tabs. You can either create a left justified, a center justified tab. So what that means is this the text here will be aligned, will be center aligned along that tab. So see team name is now aligned to the center of that tab. You click it here, you'll align the in, click it here, you'll align the points. Okay. Then now we want to create the rows of the text. We're going to click on this text box, hold the alt key, and drag it down, You're trying to keep it aligned. See that purple, that magenta line in the center that shows that you are aligned to the the text on the top. I'm just going to keep on dragging it down. I'm holding the Alt key and then I'm clicking on the text box and then I'm dragging it down while holding both the Alt key and the mouse key. I release. Okay and so now we can go in here and we can type the position name. So we can do one here. We can change this to uh, I don't know, cats. And then we can change this to uh, maybe 20 people on the team. And they've acquired 50 points. And you can go along here and, and type Control Z to undo that. Dogs. Okay. You get the point. Okay, so now we have a table. And um, just to make it clean, let's. So that they're all the same. Okay, keeping them aligned. Okay. Now, we of course, we want to create the borders and the fill for this text box. And so let's, let's cancel this. And to do that, we will use the grid tool. So we're going to click on this. So we're going to go over to the menu where you see a line, click and hold, and then go down to rectangular grid tool. We're going to stop on the top left and drag it down. And then I'm going to use the arrow keys to adjust the number. So I'm clicking the up arrow, clicking the down arrow. We're going to do that so that it's the right number of rows. And I'm going to click the the uh, right arrow so that there's a, the correct number of columns. And I'm going to then I'm going to release. And I'm going to change the border to black. And well, what I want to do is I want to move this to a new layer because I want to be able to separate it from the text. So I'm going to create a new layer. So I, I click on this Layers panel. If you don't see that, then you need to go up to Window and click on Layers. And that will give you the layer windows. So we're going to click on this. And then I want to click on this layer, Layer 2, so that this is highlighted and the um, the border is highlighted. I'm going to right click, go down to Arrange, click Send to Current Layer. Okay, so notice that when I did that, it changed the the highlighting changed to red, indicating them in a different layer. Okay, so now I want to lock the text layers. I'm going to click this little 
lock button. So now I can't select the text. I can only select the grid. I'm going to use a direct selection tool to click on the lines to align them to the way I want. So this is the direct selection tool. I'm just using the arrow keys to move the lines over so that they're centered. Okay, and now I'm going to, I want to color the background. I'm going to use the live paint bucket. So I'm going to, you see this little dotted, you know, these dots and these circles. Well, that's the, the position where the live paint bucket is. So I'm going to click and hold and you can see now the live paint bucket tool. Okay, and then I'm going to go up here to um, whatever fill you would like, maybe green. Okay, and then we're going to paint that. And maybe we can do maybe a light gray for you know, every other row. Okay. Now with these layers, the layer that's on top will overlay all the previous layers. So we want to click and we want to drag it down so that it goes under the text layer. And, and there you go. Now you have a um, a table. Now if you want to resize, then you click on this object that you just drew and you can drag it down. And notice that the text doesn't go with it. That's okay. You click on, you unlock the text layer and you lock the border layer. Now highlight these texts. Now because you create use the area type tool, you can now expand it and it won't uh, elongate the text. It's just going to expand the text box, but keep the text size the same. And so now you can resize the text. So that is how you create a table in Adobe Illustrator.